So Vijay Sales is an organization which is uh, 43 years old. My father, Mr. Nanagupta, started this business. And it was started as a very small shop selling sewing machines and radios. And over the years, as the products increased, the appliances came into place. Colored, uh, black and white TV, when it was introduced in the country, we started selling black and white TVs. Then in 82, the color televisions came in. So that was the time when we started the color televisions. It was predominantly only in Mumbai in those times. Then from 86 onwards, we started our expansion. From one store, we went into a second store. And from there, the expansion started. But the major expansion started in 96, 97 onwards, where we started looking at bigger stores. The first change of phase came in 82 when the color television came in. The next phase came when uh, in 95, 96, all the multi-brands, multinational companies like LG, Samsung set up shop in the country to sell. So that was the time when we realized the existing store size of four, 500 square feet at that time will not suffice. So that is the time when uh, Mr. Gupta took a plunge of going into bigger stores. So from five, 600 square feet, we went into two to 3,000 square feet stores. And that was one good growth category, growth stage which happened. Then slowly and steadily things were moving on. The market was expanding. Overall, the economy was showing up very well. And uh, so we moved from uh, three to 4,000 square feet to eight to 10,000 square feet. And now our largest store, store is at Goregaon East, which is 25,000 square feet. So this is how the transition has been. It has always been a customer-centric organization. I think basically the challenge is uh, how to keep your people motivated because if the, the biggest challenge because if the people are not motivated they will not be able to serve the customer the way it is and today the market is very competitive so if I am not able to give what the customer wants he will definitely go out somewhere else and buy so I think the biggest challenge is how to keep the people motivated leave aside the other smaller challenges of uh, administration regulations rules those are can still be taken care by people but the biggest challenge is how to keep your people motivated so that they are able to deliver what the deliver much better than what the customer expects it's like any other industry in fact there's no difference retail will always grow and retail has always been growing the only reason is uh, Five to seven years back, it was only this, there was a mushrooming of a lot of new stores, small stores, mom and pop stores, which was happening. But they were always one stores. So nobody used to talk about them. Now in this last two, three years, since the time the retail buzzword has come in, a uh, lot of chain stores are coming in. Now since they are chains, so you can see them present all across the country, maybe all across the uh, city, if it's a city specific chain store. So that's why people are talking so much about retail. But otherwise retailing, I think, has been in India's blood from ages and the market in the next ha huh, now what will happen is in the next five to seven years there would be a consolidation happening a lot of people who have jumped into a lot of industrialists a lot of industry people who have jumped into retail possibly they may realize this is not their cup of tea because all said and done retailing in india is quite different from retailing in uh, western countries it's not as highly profitable as it's over there so i think a lot of uh, in the next four to five years if there are eight to ten people who have jumped into this industry there would be two or three dropouts happening. They may realize the industry is good, but we are not carved out for this and we are better off in the industry where we are working. And there would be two or three who will consolidate themselves. And three or four of them will be trying always. Okay, should we be in? Should we not be in? So I think there would be a consolidation happening in the next five years. I feel if uh, technology would not have been there, retail would not have grown. I still remember in 86 when we opened our second store, we used to have a manual register which was this big, stock register. And at that time the stock keeping units were hardly not even 60, 70. Today we are handling uh, more than 4000 SKUs. If technology was not there, I think we would not have been in business. Because right from SKU management, right from customer information, today no customer has a time to give a call and give his complete address for a service issue. He'll just give you his telephone number and it's the technology which just pops out his address and all the other details. 
So I think technology has been a great uh, advantage to the business. I think we are still away around by next or another two or three years for e-commerce to mature. But there, yes, it's going to happen for the simple reason is now we are seeing in metros, people are becoming time poor. And when people become time poor, they would find ways and means to maximize their time with family, maximize their time for work. So shopping today, even today the shopping is a pleasurable activity for the Indians. I think slowly and steadily shopping will become a core. And when that happens, that is the time when e-commerce will come into play. I think we are just sitting on a new market which is going to grow like anything. Maybe three years from now on the line it will go full-fledged. We already earlier we were not having a site now we already have a vjsales.com we are not doing business on that e-commerce is not happening but we have a plan to roll out e-commerce in the next two to three months and once the e-commerce rolls out see the best advantage of e-commerce would be today I am present in five to six cities once I go on e-commerce the entire world becomes my market for as far as the customers are concerned somebody sitting in the US can gift a television from my site to his parents in Hyderabad. Hyderabad, I don't have a store, but through the site I can get it ar arranged. So now I think the main challenges of e-commerce is uh, one, interstate uh, taxation issues, which I think there should be some call which government should take. And second issue, most important is the logistics. Once we get these two things in proper perspective, e-commerce has a long way to go. In fact, software-wise, we have made a huge investment. Our ERP in the last, we have been developing uh, our ERP in the last one and a half years. And uh, in that only, we must have spent uh, nearly one and a half crores uh, of rupees in the software development. And a similar amount must have gone into upgrade our hardware. So, and IT investment is something which we do not uh, look as an expense. The moment a request comes in to us, okay, that we need to upgrade our systems, I think that's the fastest uh, call clearance which we give to that area. It's a complete ERP system which we have put in place. So right from uh, the stock coming in to the billing out, the delivery systems, everything is captured into that. So on that we have spent nearly one and a half crores rupees. There's no budgeting done as such, it's totally on the need base. If I need something, then uh, budget will not be a constraint. If it is uh, justified for the growth of the business or for the need of the business, it's given.